University campuses are like cities, so imagine the plans necessary to allow this to reopen. It was a very complex jigsaw puzzle. A lot of that puzzle went through this man, Jim Smith, the president of Eastern Michigan University. As you can imagine, many changes are things we are used to. Directional signage on the floors. In the classrooms, the seats are designated now for social distancing. But some of their greater challenges came in residence halls. So this is a traditional double space in the towers. So two students would normally be in this space. That's normal, but now you can request no roommates. We started hearing from parents about a month or so ago saying, is there single room availability, which we've always had, but at a very large upcharge. And we moved that upcharge down to $100 a month difference. So they were able to make this single person guarantee by essentially converting all of their existing rooms. This is a traditional room inside of the residence hall. Normally there would be two students sleeping in here. The furniture is going to stay, but it's not going to be used. Just one student will be here. Some halls have shared bathrooms between rooms. Others have large communal bathrooms. So in those, every other shower stall and sink will have to be closed. Lounge areas have limited seating and things like foosball and pool now shut down. And dining, it's drastically different. Now it's just grab and go. We won't have communal dining like we traditionally have. We won't have large buffets like we tr traditionally have had. Um, the salad bars that have been very popular over the last 10 years with students won't exist. Eastern is hoping for in-person learning this fall. Summer courses gave them a test run, like in the science building, where students undergo screening before getting to class. In reality, though, this is college. Will there be a party? I can't, I cannot possibly say there won't be. Um, that's just 18 to 24 year old behavior, but um, we hope that we can regulate it and we hope we can do a lot of uh, truth telling. In Ypsilanti, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.